Revelers and bands got one last chance to impress the judges with their creativity, revelry and costumes on Carnival Tuesday. The bands and members will bear it all on the stage and the scrutiny of the judges along Jabati Street in an attempt to secure one of the Carnival Awards. Just for Fun Band was among the largest bands on the road this year. It's history, it's love, it's sweat, it's tears, it's everything. It's a family unit and the formula is love, that's it. What brings everybody together with Just for Fun is just love, pure love. Pure love of carnival, pure love of people, and pure love of music and soca, of course, why not? 2024 King of the Bands winners, Fusion Mass, was the contender for some of the prizes up for grabs in the parade of the bands. Well, it has been really exciting. I think the revelers are very excited. Um, one of the things that I was saying earlier is that normally in the past we would not have those backpacks. By the time they got here, they would have taken that off. I think they understand where we are going. We want to be part of the conversations in terms of pageantry, ensuring that you can see what it is that we want to portray and the revelers are hyped. Okay, and you can see them in the back all hyped all excited we're really really excited this year of course you know we won king of the bands and and we have a runner up with rosemary paris who's a veteran in the game so we're really 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 excited about the product this year and the quality of the costumes i mean people have been talking about our goodie bags the costuming just the general treatment and vibe and so we are really really happy to be here and to be doing this queen of the bands champions tribe of 12 was also out in full force Tribe of 12 has been dominant over the years. The Wade in the Water follows on last year's portrayal for God so loved the world. And what we've tried to do is show all of the points in black history when black people basically had to cross water to find freedom, salvation, hope, enjoyment. So, and, and this is the oldest we have laid the band. Wow, wow. 80 years old. Now we understand that you guys continue to excel when it comes to these events like King and Queen of the Band. Talk to us about building and then having that tradition of having everything done locally. Well, that's a long answer, but in short, it continues to be a labor of love. And thank, thank God for all the people who come out and help us, without whom it would not have been possible. This year marks the second on the road for Expressions band and the band was out to make a positive impression. Today we're doing Battle Cry, our theme. Um, we're just having fun. What's the band like? So we have a lot of foreigners, um, we have a lot of locals. Um, all our costumes were locally made, um, locally sourced. Uh, tell somebody who's my thinking about jumping Expressions band. Legends Carnival Band registered an increase in revelers for the July jump up. We've um, really almost like quadrupled our numbers. So this is a really new experience for us, but our revelers are having a great time. The music, I um, love the St. Lucia music. So um, we're very happy about that. And just the overall delivery, because we want to give people that authentic Lucian Carnival feeling. Um, so we think we'll be, we'll, we are delivering that so far. The revelers will enjoy one last lap from the Shock VG roundabout to the city center before they bid farewell to the season. Chuakim Duplacy, HTS News Force.